Hello, welcome back to Bender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna uh, do a bit of a math puzzle. Uh, I saw this image from Reddit, and this guy is doing this drawing, and it looks like a, I don't know what you call it, but it's a kind of like a, this kind of structure. It's a two-dimensional. It's just like a, something that's rather kind of complex, but it's kind of beautiful. It's very um, mathematics kind of. Uh, drawing and then I, I was thinking maybe I can recreate this using Sphereshop. Um, first of all, what I did was um, I kind of look at it and then, okay, I think I can generate something like this using a cube um, that's kind of slightly rotated um, orthographically. So we are looking at it from one of the corner. So basically, look at this. It's just like the center of the cube and every line is being connected. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I sort of did there. So this is what I came up with. It's not like 100% exactly this uh, Metatron cube. However, this is good enough. This is how I look at... Uh, this is from the top view. I already, I already rotated the cube. If I rotate it and uh, look at it from different angle, this is actually just, you know, just a cube with every point in the center and um, every points and every polygon points get this uh, duplicated circle, something like that. But I'll I'll show you another solutions. But this one is actually kind of interesting. If uh, I I will tell you how I made this. So I start with a box or a cube. The size doesn't matter. Division is just one. And then the next thing I did was to rotate the cube. So um, so it's like. If you look at it from from top view orthographically, it looks just like uh, like this. If I draw it, okay. So that's a uh, that's the first, and the next thing I did was kind of flatten flatten the cube using this um, scalar zero plug into the Z, so I get that result. And the next thing I did was to remove the double, so I have just flat points, just like this. And then I use KD3 closest edges, so KD3 connects every closest edges, so you, I get that. Now, this is almost like a hexagon. And then I intersect the edges, so whatever I get the intersections, um, I'll get a point. And then I do another remove doubles, and what I get is something like this. It's really, really quite simple. Actually, KD3 also kind of connect this line. So if I draw it using different color, I get this line as well. So connect all of them with all the intersections, and just duplicate circles on every single point, and we get this uh what what is it called metatron cube well if i didn't zero this out actually i get a i get a different result like you can see this is a from the top view is this is more like this guy except that i don't have smaller cube um that's okay i guess but the funny thing is if i kind of increase the resolution i'm getting a different kind of pattern and this is kind of interesting right it's in very very interesting and in fact if I increase it further I get another pattern oh it's actually slow down blender but y you can see this pattern is a uh, quite intricate and this is actually really really clean if you if you make a cut this is just like a math kind of drawing let me zero this out and we should have like a flat flat design look at it from the top um, perhaps I can do a little bit of adjustment maybe 0.8 well anyway it's starting to get into like a new design but um, there is another way to do this and this is much simpler um, 
this is very very simple right? uh, simple actually the way I did it is just um, start with n gone and the n gone is looking something like this if I hide everything so that's n gone okay and the next thing I did was to use KD3 closest edges that's basically connecting every edges with everything that's KD3 okay that's very cool and then the next thing um, I simply use intersect edges so whatever there's like a intersection is gonna create a new point and I end up with something like this so KD3 actually connects every line to everything so we get this kind of design and after we that we did that simply just instance circle on every single points so we get this design it looks like something from like a horror movies perhaps but still kind of intricate and really quite beautiful so I think I'm gonna stick with this this is actually quite it's flat uh, looks like a, something like like a mantra or something I don't know and you can adjust the radius of course there's certain kind of pattern that looks very pretty it's like a like a Buddhist um, anagram is it anagram no it's not anagram something else but you can control the radius and get a different design maybe it's a pentagram is I don't know you can try like a different variations But not too much. I think what's works really well is like five and six and seven and eight. Five, six, and eight actually works really well. Um, radius, different radius. And maybe even with this guy, we can play around with the radius and getting a different pattern. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty happy with that. Give it a different color so we can see what's going on. Point mm, three, maybe it's pretty much something like that should be I'm pretty happy with that okay so yeah that's pretty much it this is um, the original puzzle this one is slightly different there is one there is points that it doesn't actually generate the circle like this point one two three four but you can kind of get rid of that uh, circle if you don't want it if you want to have exact design like this but this is what we came up with um, yeah I guess that's pretty much it um, if you have any question feedback just let me know and thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video